Did you know that on average, one out of every two children suffer from trauma every year, which is caused by physical, emotional, or sexual abuse? Emotional violence, on the other hand, affects one out of three children. And one in four children live with a mother who is the victim of partner violence. The pandemic increased symptoms of anxiety and depression in children worldwide. As an example, in the US, 63% of young children reported experiencing substantial symptoms of anxiety and depression. These are some of the consequences of trauma and abuse on children. Educational underperformance, mental illness, anxiety disorders, high-risk behaviors including alcohol and drug abuse, smoking or unsafe sex, chronic disease including cancer, diabetes and heart disease, infectious disease, STD, HIV, social problems, involvement in violence and crime, and half of children are exposed to these risks. What does all of this mean for teaching and learning, and what can we learn from the field of cognitive science in order to help children succeed in school? Trauma comes in many forms. There are more visible examples of trauma, such as being a war refugee, being without a stable home, or dealing with the aftermath of natural disasters or social unrest. Trauma can also be less visible in the form of poverty, racism, and psychological abuse. This is true across geographies, and it definitely does not discriminate based on socioeconomic standing. Children respond differently to stressful events depending on their resources and coping skills. Childhood trauma directly affects students' attention, engagement, and their ability to learn. When a child's ability to cope is compromised, they can have a traumatic response. Trauma can negatively affect concentration, memory, the way they organize information, language ability, everything they need to succeed in school. Everything a student needs to succeed in school is at risk when they suffer trauma. Children experiencing trauma are also more likely to have behavior problems, low self-esteem and difficulty regulating their emotions and their attention. These factors can combine and result in a child feeling disconnected from their school community. Studies have shown that the climate we create has implications for children and young people. While a negative climate can hinder learning and performance, a positive climate can foster learning. Positive relationships, one of the six essential components of positive education, emphasizes the benefit of positive interactions with various individuals and the community at large. The social environment plays a critical role in a student's emotions as well as engagement in learning. While learning is a cognitive process, it doesn't occur in a vacuum. We are social and emotional beings. Children are particularly vulnerable to this as they are continuously developing the full range of intellectual, social, and emotional skills. Similar to cognitive skills, social and emotional skills can be taught and with practice can positively impact an individual's academic journey, explicitly teaching children how to manage their emotions alongside academic content is very important. Our brain changes in response to every experience we encounter, as well as to our relationships. By acknowledging and taking advantage of this principle, we can leverage it to put our advantages as well as adequately support others in our sphere of influence as parents or educators. To succeed at teaching, educators depend on our students' emotional well-being we need to adequately support our own educators if we expect them to be responsible for effectively addressing these emotional challenges in their classroom. Their job has never been harder or more important. To contribute to this urgent need, we have translated the best evidence available from the fields of cognitive science and positive education and partnered with the world's leading experts to support educators with online professional development on belonging and well-being. We encourage you to explore our offering for yourself or your faculty.